Hello, I'm going to talk about our work entitled New Conditional Cube Attack on Kachak Kid Moves. I'm Zheng Li. This is a joint work with Xiao Yang Dong, Wen Quan Bi, Ke Ting Jia, Xiao Yun Wang, and Willy Mir. There are three parts. At first, I will introduce Kachak Kid Moves and their crypt analysis results, then comes related works. At last, I will introduce our works. Kachak is the or original design of Sha3. It is in the sponge construction. Sponge construction absorbs key and message after the Kachak internal permutation. It squeezes the output like tag and cipher text. Kata kid moves include KMAC, KMAC, and so on. Kachak internal permutation is exactly Kachak P permutation. The state can be represented in a three dimension state. In one state, there are several slices. The 1600 state has 64 slices, and each slice include 5 bits multiplied with 5 bits. There are several rounds. Each round is the same. The round function has five operations. K operation is the unique nonlinear operation. We can see only the neighbor, neighboring bits multiply with each other. Here are crypt analysis results of Kachak Hidmus. We have reduced the time complexity of the same round attack. For Kia SR, we have reduced the time com complexity of seven round attack from 2 to the 90 to 2 to the 70. Then related works. Cube attack. The encryption can be represented in a polynomial F. In F, there are public variables and secret variables. The keybits are the secret variables. Among the public variables, we select S. Out of them. So T is the product of the S variables. F can be represented as T multiplied with super poly P plus Q. So in Q, there is no Monomial can be divisible by T. So we compute the cube sum. The cube sum of F equals super poly P. Conditional cube attack. They introduce bit conditions to conditional cube variable. So their propagation is controlled. There are two types of cube variables. For the conditional ones, in the first round, their propagation controlled by some conditions. After the second round, they do not multiply with each other. For ordinary ones, after the first round, they do not multiply with each other.
after the second round, they do not multiply with any conditional new variable. Here is a simplified theorem. For n plus 1 plus 2 round Kachak bound function, if there is one conditional q variable and q ordinary ones, so the product of them, the term will not appear in the output polynomial of Kachak's bound function. To search for q variables, MILP method is used well for set operation. We can see each bit as the sum of two columns when the parity of a column remains constant. The variables in the column do not propagate through set operation. It is also called CP kernel property. According to the constraints, to satisfy the values in this table, MILP method is used to search cube variables with the least k bit conditions. As we know, once the dimension of cube variables is, is determined, the least k bit conditions can, can, can be represented as the lowest time complexity. At last, I will introduce our works. Here is a summary of conditional cube attacks on Kachak Mac 512. In this figure, the red two lines means k bits. The blue bits are the padding bits. So the last white ones are free to are available to be selected as cube variables with different methods. Different rounds can be attacked. A greedy algorithm can reach five round attack. MLP methods can reach six around. By the previous method, there are not enough ordinary cube variables to perform seven attacks. In our attack, we have applied new techniques so we can reach seven round attack on Kachak Mac 512. Let's introduce model of the model of K recovery attack. As new bit conditions are introduced, the conditions are related to K bits. As in the previous method, the in the round in the first round, all the variables do not multiply with each other. And then if the conditions are satisfied in the output of the second round, there is no V0 VI. If the k bits in the bit conditions are guessed correctly, then the 664 dimension, dimension product will not appear. If the k bits I guessed wrong. The output degree will reach 64.
in our model. In the first round, V0, V1 is the unique quadratic term. This is different from the previous one. So in the following, we will control the diffusion of the quadratic term V0, V1. If the conditions satisfied, V0, V1 does not multiply with each other. Will, will not multiply with others. In the output of the second round, there is no cubic terms. After the seventh round, if the key bits in the conditions is guessed right, so the output degree will be will not reach 65. If the key guess is wrong, the output degree will reach 65. In the V0, V1 is the kernel quadratic term. Let's explain the kernel meaning. The generation of kernel quadratic term in K operation of the first round. We can see the black bits means V0, the gray bits means V1. The bits with black slashes means V0. V1, the product. We can see V0, V1 are in the same color. It is exactly the input of set operation in the second round. So kernel quadratic term is set in one column. According to CP kernel property, they will not diffuse. Here is a comparison of diffusion patterns. On the left side, we can see the diffusion of the conditional cube rebel V0. The diffusion is like two bits in the input, two bits in the output of the first round, and 22 bits after set operation in the second round. On the right round, in the input, black ones means V0. Gray ones means V1. And the output of the first round, the two bits means V0, V1, the product. As they satisfies the CP kernel property, so after set operation in the second round, there are still two bits containing V0, V1. So the pattern is 6 bits in the input, 2 bits in the output of the first round, and 2 bits in the output of set operation in the second round. We also use the MLP method to search the variables. The white paths are the free spaces for us to search for cube variables. The object objective function is to minimize 
might the sum of way. It is to get cube variables with the least qubit conditions. To get independent cube variables, so F and E should be manners. By MILP's solution of the problem, the minimum of objective function is 1. It means the bit conditions related to k, the number is 1. k recovery attack on 7 round key mac, kachak mac 512. If the keybits are guessed correctly, the product disappears. So the cube sums over the 65 dimension cube are zero. If the keybits are guessed wrong, the product appears. Cube sums are non zero. Thus, if Q sums of the output of seven rounds over the six sixty five dimension cube are zero, the key guess is conjectured to be right. If the cube sums are non zero, the key guess is wrong. We compute the time complexity. So the 128 kbits are in two half. The first 62 bits are recovered by the cube testers. In, in order, and the last 64 bits are traversed to be recovered. So the whole time complexity is 2 to the 72. There are also other applications like 7 round attack on KRSR, version 1 and version 2, 9 round attack on KMAC 256, uh, about uh, the practical attacks, six rounds on Kia SR, version one and version two can be attacked. They are practical. So the uh, south uh, source code is online. That's all. Thank you for your attention.